hi everyone and welcome you all back to my youtube channel today on today's video we are going to be cutting a mermaid gown with a cow neck and these are the measurements needed so let's proceed first of all i'll be marking out my bust point width followed by my chest line for my chest line i use 7.5 for my bust point i use 9 inches and i'm going to rule that out After which I'm done, I'm going to proceed to mark my back measurement 15 divided by 2, that is 7.5 and I'm going to mark that and let it meet my chest area. After, after which I'm going to draw my ammo area like this. Moving forward, I'm going to input my bust measurement with 1 inch allowance because it's a backless dress, I don't need to add excess allowance to it. Same to my waist measurement divided by 4 plus 1 inch allowance as well. And I'm going to join it like this and cut it out. After that, I'm going to be cutting 4.5 inches away and I'm going to be replacing it with a stripe. And also, I'm going to be coming in by one inch because I don't want the stripe to go beyond my shoulder. So I just feel like I want it to be on the right place. And I'm going to cut that off as well. Moving forward, I'm going to proceed into my chest area and I'm going to cut it like this. This is where we are going to be expanding with some inches in order for us to be able to form that claw neck. So I pick a piece of my pattern paper and I fold it into two, then I place this on it like this, then I use my paper tape to put it down so that it won't be moving around. I go ahead to cut it off like this. That extension, the one I'm measuring at now, that's its inches, is the one that is going to be at the middle and that cloud area, that is what is going to form it. Moving forward, I take my actual fabric and I place the pattern paper on it like this in order to mark the exact shape out. If you want that middle part to be more and more emphasized, you can go ahead and use 7 inches or 6 inches. I think 6 inches is okay and more than enough. So in order to cut it, you are not going to cut it like the way it slants. You are going to cut it straight like this because you are not going to be trimming the middle. So this is how you are going to cut it and this is what it's going to look like after that. Moving forward, we want to cut our mermaid area, that down part. We're already minus 16 inches from our gown length, so I'll be so I'll be marking the remaining part, and that is 44 inches for the down length. Then to my hip area, that is 9 inches from my waist. Then to my knee area, that is 17.5. Then I'm going to rule that out. After which I'm going to place my hip measurement divided by 4 on the hip area plus 2 inch allowance of my waist area as well. My waist divided by 4 plus 2 inch allowance. Now I'm going to join it together in order to get my hip shape. Then moving to my knee area, what I used to do is I'll measure the total hip measurements and minus 1 inch from it. And I'm going to mark exact that on my knee area and, and I'm going to join it together like this. If you want your own knee area to go in more than mine, you can use 1.5 for yours. But I think 1 inch is okay. Moving forward to the down part, this is what we are going to do at this area. I'm trying to trace it to meet my down area the total wideness of that down is 24 inches because i want it to be as wide as possible 
so that's 24 inches and i'm going to use my ruler to trace out the line like this if you have a long ruler you can just place your long ruler starting from that knee area to meet your end points on that down part and you're going to get it like that because i don't want my uh, gown to have a sharp edge that is why i shape it like that at the down part you can do yours like that as well if i train that off moving to the back area you are going to fold your fabric into two for the back as well and you are going to place your front area your front part to the back part like this i maxed out my knee area with my hip area as well then i proceed to add my two inch allowance for my zipper and that is what i'm marking out now i'm starting from that knee area i came in by half an inch like this then i slant my taper to meet the end part of my folded fabric like this if you have a long roll you can use it as well then you are going to be shaping it like this just watch the video and you're going to get it this area is just for you to create a toe at the back of this gown so that the gown will just look straight at the back this is just a toe you can actually extend it more than mine And for the down part of the gown, this is how I'm going to be shaping it as well. Just watch how I how I'm doing it. I added extra six inches for the back part in order to give it that seal, that long seal at the back, and in order to give it that fullness at the back as well. So I'm going to be joining, I'm going to trace the exact shape at the extreme end of my front part like this. And I'm going to be drawing a line to meet my 6 inches extension for the back. And that is it. Since this dress does not have a back, it is backless, so we are not going to be cutting any back for it it's just this stripe that is going to hold everything together so this is the last part we are going to be cutting and i'm going to be uploading at the same tutorial as well so if you are here to subscribe to my channel please do so press the subscribe button like comment and share you can as well cut out your stripe. I used 1 inches for my width and I used 80 inches long. Thanks for watching. Bye.